day 15, start of week 3. Let's open this up and see the chickies. How you guys doing today? They're eating a little more than two trays of food a day. They're all using the chicken nipples really well. I'm putting about three gallons of water in there a day. One gallon at a time. That way I can wipe it out and make sure it stays clean for them. You know, don't want any nasty stuff to get in their water. Rule of thumb is if you won't drink it, why would you expect your animals to? As you can see, they're getting bigger every day. Lots more feathers. All right. Are you on the catwalk? You want to be in the video? Yeah. Beautiful little creatures. Growing up big and strong. Going through the chick grit. So they're digesting their food good. Must not need that very much calcium. I haven't had to put any in that in about two weeks. Some of them want to be in the heat lamp. Some of them don't. Some really don't. They're about as far away from the heat lamp as they can get. That's good. They need to be getting hardened off. So when they go into the chicken tractor, they, uh, they'll have a good transition rate. Day 16. They're eating more than two trays of food a day. I ended up having to put in... Oh, I scared them. This uh, extra supplemental uh, feeder. I went ahead and took the calcium out of here. They weren't eating it anyway. I'm just going to sprinkle some around so that they can find it if they want it. That brand new bedding. They seem to be enjoying it. They're using the chicken nipple water. They're doing really good at it. Uh, They've been drinking so fast that I've been putting it in at two gallons at a time. It doesn't appear to be leaking, so I'm assuming that they're either, you know, not catching it all or they're drinking it. So it's good. Getting bigger every day, getting all their feathers. They look way different than they did when they got here two weeks ago. Day 17. Getting bigger and bigger every day. More and more of their feathers are coming in on their back. They're eating two and a half trays of food a day. I'm putting about four gallons of water in their waterer. Beautiful little creatures, really they are. Soaking up the heat lamp. It only got down to about 58 degrees last night, so that's not too bad. Oh, little jumper. Day 18, Red Ranger meat birds. As you can see, the brooder looks a bit different. I've been reading How to Hatch and Brood Chicks by Gail Damero. So I set up my brooder a bit different. As you can see, I added an extra water. It got pretty hot yesterday, so I didn't want them to be lacking in the water department. They're eating three trays of food a day, with which a tray is three of these scoops. I've uh, also been adding apple cider vinegar to their water 
since they've since they got here, but just about a capful per gallon. But as you can see, they're getting bigger. It's uh, it was about sixty degrees last night, so I went ahead and just left the uh, roof off as long as it continues to uh, be warmer at night. This side will just be open with the with the screens that I made over here for ventilation. I was visiting the homesteader about 45 minutes north of here. I, I was leaving the lights off so that they could uh, get accustomed to sleeping outside. But there's a change of plans. It's, a quick little band came through, a cold front's coming. So it looks like they're going to be staying in here probably a couple more days than I had planned. All of them were laying here, facing this way. They weren't facing the ventilation, so they, they were fine. They weren't all bunched up. One was over this guy. He was over here all by himself. They're fine. It's still 72 degrees outside. But a cold front's coming. So... Like this back on. It was staying in the upper 60s overnight, and with the amount of feathers that they had on them, I was turning off the light all day so they get natural sunshine through the ventilation that I made. But. Hope this doesn't stunt them. I don't think that it would. All light and heat makes them do is eat and drink more, I guess. I'll give them a little bit more food. Not much. They still got a little bit in that tray. But they're happy. They're chirping, they're eating. But it's going to get cold. So the roof has to go back on. Alrighty, let's get that started. Sorry to be scaring you guys. I gotta put your roof back on. It's gonna get cold. And then there. Let me, uh, let me get this weather tight so that, uh, they don't get wet when it rains. Day 19. Red Ranger meat birds. They're eating about three and a half trays of food a day. They're going through the water. It's rainy today. It's kind of chilly. But they're still running around, so it must not be too cold. They're getting, their, oh. They're getting their feathers in. Well, this low, last cold snap here is uh, forcing me to change things up a little bit. Um, this part that used to go underneath of the brooder and come over here 
was this old coop that our farm has had for four years now. This is its, like, third remodel. Anyway, um, I went ahead, I put chicken wire here so that the other chickens can't get to the chicks. Um, when I get this all remodeled, I'm going to open this up so that the chicks can come down here if they want to. They, they're getting too big to be staying in that brooder all the time. Um, if they were going out in two days, then I wouldn't really worry about it, but looks like they're going to be in there for at least four, if not a week. I have to use the light on my phone to give you a visual. It's getting too dark to actually film it. But there it is. The roof is on. Got straw throughout. This I left open in case they want to do a dust bath. Oh, that's new. I didn't do a do-it-yourself video on that. I'm going to be doing that again while uh, I'm building my tractor. So, I will do a video on it then. But, I'm drinking out of it. New bucket, clear sight hose. Day 20, Red Ranger meat birds. Actually, we only got three of them up here. Oh, looks like we got three of them sitting right here. That must mean the rest of them are down here. Oh, look at there. Got some down here, some up in there. A bunch of them up in there. Most of them. Mainly. I guess that's not going to be their new sleep chamber. Possibly. It was just... I was having to put more hay down every two days. They were making such a big mess. Now over here they can dirt bath themselves. Like that one's doing. And they can come in and eat or... Sleep or whatever they want to do and they can come out here and they can actually be on mother earth instead of walking around on wood Awesome I'm hoping that the weatherman's wrong and then I can actually get these guys out of This brooder in two days, but you know Sometimes they're right sometimes they're wrong As long as it stays upper 60s. I don't see any reason why they can't stay outside. What do you think of them, huh? You got to hang out with them all day. Oh, you want their bread, huh? No, you already ate your bread. That's their bread. I threw in some bread. I don't even know if they're... It doesn't look like they've even eaten any of it. But they are eating about four trays of food a day, and I filled this up again today. It was almost empty. So, you know, once again, I let it empty out, clean it out, fill it up with water, put in the apple cider vinegar, and they're good to go. It's self feeding. They get as much water as they want. Much food as they want. And now they get to run around and be freer, which is better. There's my egg layers and my rooster. They don't get much uh, air time right now. Maybe later. Red Ranger Meat Birds, day 21, end of week 3. They're getting bigger every day. They're eating a little over 4 trays of food a day. Um, 
They actually just emptied out a 50 pound bag of food today. So the first 50 pound bag lasted them three weeks. So I bet the fit next 50 pound bag doesn't last them no three weeks. <laughs> but yeah, they have access to down here. Some of them are down here. Some of them are up in there. But they're getting around. When it was sunny today, they were out laying, stretched out in the sun. Hopefully the weather warms up and I uh, can get them into their tractor here pretty soon. But that's it. That's the end of week three. Stay tuned for next week. I want to thank you for watching. Ask that you subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Hit that bell. That way you'll be notified when I put out new videos.